Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today we are gonna look at the Dowlar Electric Vehicle Charger. Now this charger may come in handy when you are camping, and you know what, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but for now, let's unbox it and let's see what's in the box. So we get a very simple manual. I'll throw up a few screenshots here. This is really what you have to pay attention to, the light indicator, and then there's an OLED display, uh, sort of like a flow chart when you're actually using it. Now here is the hardware it comes with if you're gonna to decide to mount it to the wall and it also comes with this clip here so you can plug it right into the wall and let it hang appropriately. It also comes with a handy dandy template that you can put on the back of it to make sure that when you're mounting it, your screws are in the right place. Now mine came with a NEMA 1450, but if we go on their website here, you can see these sell a bunch of adapters and a wide variety of chargers. This one caught my eye because it was 22,000 watts, but then I quickly learned it was a three phase. Overall, very inexpensive and you can even find them on Amazon with deals. Now the last thing I wanted to show you just before we go to use is this handy dandy reusable zip tie. I just I like it and I wanted to make special note of it. All right so now we are outside and if we look at the length we can see we are both 31 inches for the top that's from the unit to the top plug-in and the cord length is about 16 feet. So let's plug it in and see what happens. So once it's plugged in it's very very easy to toggle through the settings. It's the one thing I really like about this. So it always says long press to enter settings. So we're gonna do a long press like this. Okay, and then you can see there is charge appointment and current switching. So a short button press is just gonna to toggle between the two, just like so. And what we wanna do is hold it for a long press. So here you can see now we can toggle between 10, 16, 20, 24 and 32. That's what just quick press is and a long press will confirm it. So we're gonna hold it down and there we go. Setup completed. So now it'll tell us we stopped on the 24 amp. So it's set for 24 amps. Let's go long press. The other thing I found in the menu was just charge appointment and all that means is it's a delay. So a quick, quick press will highlight that. Then what we're gonna do is long press just like so and you can see the times. So there's two, four, six, or eight. Short press will toggle between them and long press will confirm. So we're on six hours, so long press. And there you go. You can see it's counting down from six hours. That's when it's gonna start. So I'm gonna long press it again. And then I'm gonna long press to confirm. And then I've canceled it. So very, very easy to use. But like anything, how does it really work in the real world? Well, let's plug it into my car, which is a Tesla Model Y. And we are going to see there's a blue it's thinking and the green it is charging. If we take a look at my dash, we can see it is on 10 amps right there. And you know what? I had a thought to myself. I wanted to see uh, if we could change it. So I put it to 32 amps, plugged it back in. Uh, there you go. You can see it's actually charging. We're going to go back up here and it should go up to 32 amps. Let's just give it a second there. We're almost there. And I should let you know this is real time, so no editing here. And there we go, we're at 32 amps. So now, can we change it on the fly? Sorry, I didn't have a fly, so I had to stick a dragon in there. So you can see we are currently charging at 32 amps. If I reduce it there, I'm reducing it on my car. You can see it does still say max 32. So we're still max 32. Let's pan over here and we should go down to 20 amps. And yes, we did. So we can change it on the fly here. And if I go right down to five, just like that, you can see my car should go down to five. And yes, it did. All right, so what did I think of this Dowler charger? Well. You know, personally, I don't think this charger should be mounted to the wall. And the reason I say that is this belongs in your trunk. This is a compact, little, powerful, level two charger that, you know, you can take with you when you go camping on any road trips. Just make sure if you do take a camping, you do specify a camping site that has the appropriate electrical connector for you. Now, keep in mind, you can still get this in the 120 version, but you don't need to. Because there's so many adapters available, you can pretty much plug it in anywhere. So to me, this is the perfect portable charger and I definitely give it two thumbs up. It's in the back of my Tesla. I love this little thing just because it's so compact and powerful. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next week.